Hey, plant brats, it's your little auntie. You know, the one that looks dressed, act too young for her age. I'm looking my age today, baby. These bangs age me a little bit. Yeah, I'm tired. Oh, let me turn jagged edge down for I get copyright. I'm at the VA. Everything's good. My daddy just has an appointment about his diabetes. But you guys know I sold my truck. So now I gotta drive Mr. Daisy again. So it's like anytime I make a decision that's good for me, it backfires. Because yeah, I got they gave me where's the paper? 15.5 cash for my truck, right? But now I gotta transport my daddy around everywhere. Which, you know, I, I'm not complaining about that at all, but sometimes I do I do work. I know, like, as an influencer, people just feel like we just carry the camera around and have fun, but I do have deadlines and quotas and stuff, and my daddy make these appointments without telling me. He don't even confirm to make sure I don't have an appointment or something to do. Um, so it kind of inconveniences me a little bit, and I'm just tired. I'm sleepy. I'm tired in general. So, and I'm hungry. But there's no point of me going to get nothing to eat because I know he gonna be hungry when he get out of here. So I have been sitting out here almost two hours waiting on him because I'm not going in there. And um, we just finna get this vlog on, y'all. It's just my daddy. He, I, I know. I, well, I don't know because I've never had cancer. But I, I can only imagine how like having cancer and getting rid of it creates a, a type of anxiety medical trauma anxiety and my daddy always like is so annoying because my daddy was absolutely blessed they was able to go in cut his cancer out. he'd have to do chemo radiation none of that but every other month my daddy is running up here telling these people his cancer is bad and that like that to me that's like speaking into existence you know what i'm saying your your, your mouth is a very powerful tool and so he's here for a diabetes uh, appointment, but he's on, over there with the oncologist. To my, he's still hurting and stuff. And what I'm trying to tell my daddy is that like you are what you eat for real. So you guys know I have gastritis from having a parasites or whatever. So like literally when I eat stuff I'm not supposed to eat, I feel like I'm dying sometimes. Sometimes it's worth it. <laughs> but no, for real, I, the days. I know I got stuff to do like around my cousin's wedding and stuff. I ate salads, baked and all that because I did not want to be sick at the wedding and etc. And my dad doesn't grasp that concept. He still eat everything he want to eat. And then I don't know if this is an older people thing. My dad would cook something and leave it out on the stove and then warm it up the next morning. Like your stomach can't handle all that anymore. So I'm quite sure that's why you're in pain. But you, you know, you can't trying to talk to the older generation about stuff like that they think you don't know so i just be like okay daddy all right daddy all right daddy because he be trying to toss a little bit so i'm sitting here waiting i should have brought my laptop i could have at least worked i'm sleepy as heck y'all so i'm scared to fall asleep here you been on call me i don't even hear it so what i'm gonna do just talk y'all here off okay let's get lit all right y'all this is where we at this is like a staple in oak cliff um i've only ate here though about this is my second time because i don't know i'm just not real big on soul food like that at all it's just full of a whole bunch of shit we don't need honestly that's why black people always got heart problems blood pressure diabetes and stuff but uh my daddy love this type of food and so i got baked fish cabbage and macaroni and cheese but baby you can't even go in they stop you at the door the meat on the door they like order right here take your card at the door everything you know my daddy like to eat it look at it look at him look at you look at your son he waiting on that food okay but um i'll show y'all my plate and stuff when i get home my daddy got oxtail peas and cabbage i got cabbage mac and baked fish this cornbread yeah, so I went home, ate. I thought I was going to take a nap, end up hopping. I, I don't know why I got up to come to TJ Maxx to look for these brush sets again that I was looking for in last vlog. I saw some, but it wasn't the bling ones. But I did find 
for $29. The necklace you guys have been talking about that looks like the child. I don't even know the designer name, honey. This one. And they had two. I should have got two, but why did I even get this one? Hold on. Let's see this right here. I can show y'all just like this. Oops. The one that looks like this. Oh, girl. They testing my gangster. Now, why would they wrap this like this? Out of corner and not do nothing. I should've got both of them, huh? I haven't been seeing me wear these with the bracelets. So yeah, I did get that. Honey, your girl home and she got some press on nails from Shein. Y'all wanna see them? Of course, let's go. So here are all the sets I got. All right, so here's a really good look. All of these are the same, guys. It's that new French style that's out that's really cute. So I got it in all the colors I could find, green, purple and here's black i picked up two of the same so i'll set this on the side for a giveaway these are like just holographic and then i got a lot a lot of pink and white sets because i really really like that pair from my cousin wedding really really liked it and just some i even got some shorter sets just a dibble this is a really i think this is my favorite set right here out of the whole it's my favorite set and I really like this one too so I'm just gonna give that one away I was trying to see if it's any more I want to put in a giveaway that I wouldn't wear but nope I'm keeping all the rest of my nails all right guys so I had to sit them like sideways so they will all fit back up in there and yeah love them link below with my coat as I'm editing my vlog, guys, she did it again. And this is why. Oh, if you watched last week's vlog, I met Jackie. She mentioned me again in her stories. Got a lot of people who did reels and TikToks. That's love. I really appreciate that. So now that my hair is back, I'm going to start doing my Maybe just cut it. Alright guys, I'm about to put on some of my sheen press-ons. Um, I'm going to try this glue. I've never in my life tried this glue. And I want the glue I usually use because it makes my nails last two weeks. But I'm out. So I had to order some from Amazon. So I'll link the glue I usually use below. And I'll keep you guys updated on this. I just got this from the dollar store. All I do is clip my real nails. I file my real nails. And I put these on. I don't do anything special because everyone always asks me what I do for them to last so long. That's what you got. So cute. This candle right here. Bomb. I love gourmand. This right here smell like Smarties or Sweet Tarts to me. Oh, this is trash for my birthday haul. This Gina over there, y'all here hollering about all men cheating. So, I lay all the stuff out to make it easier for me to record tomorrow. Because I got to get it done. Well, hey, y'all. I just finished my birthday haul. And I am, like, surrounded and stuff on this floor. No cap. It's, it's just it's a lot. But guess what I got to do now? Just put it up. It's only 12 o'clock. I can put it up, take a shower, take me a nap, and start back over the night. Y'all see it? And it's piled. Don't forget to check it out. I don't know which one will go up first. Yeah, this outfit is too cute. I got it from Shein. One of you guys sent me one just like it, but this is the one I got from Shein. And I kind of like got it tied up like messy like. Oop, y'all can even see. I kind of got it tied up messy like, and it come with the pants. Okay, I ain't gonna shake it, y'all. Good day. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I miss them days where I would be hollering and sugar would be down in my feet. And I would be throwing her the stuff and she would help me put it up. And y'all used to be like, she'd just be throwing that stuff on the floor the whole time my baby was down there catching it or whatever. I miss them days. She don't want to help me do nothing no more, y'all. Woo, your girl got her beauty room back. It's a couple of things I need to straighten out. 
like this fell the other day in the cold light. So, honey, let's talk about this box I got from Pixie. It's a glow tonic. Yeah. Try not to break my press on, honey. They usually, <laughs> I was just gonna say, they usually send us these customized. They usually do it around Christmas. Maybe is it that time? <laughs> Thank you so much, Pixie. Look where I'm back at, cause my Van Cleef dupe necklace broke soon as I took it out the box. Because they just threw it in the box any kind of way and it tangled, not because it's cheap. So yeah, I'm back. Hey guys, it just broke. Okay guys, so I just put it on this time. It looks really ghetto, but it's not gonna tear up on me this time. I came to check out the brushes, of course. They don't. All right guys, look at me looking like yesterday. That was easier than I thought. I thought that was gonna be like, you the one broken taking it out the box and stuff, which is true, but y'all saw how it was tangled up and I, <sighs> so I just told them, let me wear it at the store. Now I got to store it somewhere fragile so it don't tangle with my other necklaces, right? It's ghetto cause the tag's still on there, y'all, but yeah. All right, y'all, so I'm in the parking lot of Specs because I was on Facebook at like three o'clock in the morning and saw this recipe and I told my cousin, please. Um, please make these for me. And she done already made them. It's like four o'clock. It's a cranberry oatmeal. Y'all know I love, I can't have anything like citrusy and stuff. So I'm very limited on what I can eat. Yeah, this blush make it look like I got beat up. It's a purple blush. I'm gonna sell that. That ain't what it is. It's a MAC blush too. But anyway, she, uh, let me check my nose because I still ain't did my nose hers, y'all. She actually made them for me this quick and she was like, this is who's fall. Or she was like, yeah, this is who's fall. She was like the real plat brat. <laughs> Calling me a brat. But I'm waiting on my cookie job. Let me go in here and give me some milk. No, I'm just playing. She was like, tell Nicole to come get her off of work. I was like, girl, I'm right by you taking this necklace back. So I'm waiting on her. She's in the mother line to get the kid out. Good, because I ain't got no bra on, y'all. I'm just swinging and banging. Even in TJ Maxx. And was. <laughs> They big. What what we do? The Lord, good Lord, didn't make bras. We'll be walking around here like the people in Africa and stuff still do it. Why, why y'all got a problem with me doing it, huh? Let's do that. Why y'all got a problem with me doing it? I could have went got me some. I'm gonna go get me something to eat. That's what I'm gonna do. Look at her. Look at him in the uh with the light up wheels. What is it called? They might not be him. Whoever it is done crunk that thing. Y'all see it? The spider or the, there you go. Keep zooming in for the people. Come on, camera. All right, guys, so here they are in their glory. I got the cranberry oatmeal and she made chocolate oatmeal. Ah! I'm too hungry too. Dang, he left, I was trying to get him pulling out. I'm too slow, he too fast. Let's see. Let's just see what we can come up with. Oh, there you go, y'all. He gone, gone. Proceed to the roof. Yeah, he way over there. Yeah, I finna see him lit up. Yeah, I hope this is what I've been waiting for because I, I almost got a PayPal claim on this. It was an Instagram ad, and I hadn't got it. <laughs> it's exactly what it is, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put the company. I'm gonna put the company right here. It's not on here. 24 hour. I don't even know the name of the company, y'all. If I find a link, I'll put it on here. But it's this case right here. I know. I'm going to make a lot of noise. I know y'all saw it on Instagram because I did. And got that. And did. I just be doing stuff. Okay, so it looks what seems to be like a, just a little plain bling case. But it's the pop socket that I love, which after I got it, I'm like, I got bamboozled because that's what I get. I thought it said Chanel. Child, no man. It says something else, not Chanel. But it's like you can. Let me just do it. So here's T sis. You can sit it up like this because this acts as the pop socket. So it came from Instagram. 
And this is why I'm saying I got God, because that does not say Chanel, honey. Let's just keep it like that. You'll think it say Chanel. Girl, they got me good, honey. It's cute, though. Okay, so that's that. And then I was just doing my birthday haul saying how I got this. Because you guys know when I went to get the cups, I got them free. And they only had a smile of the sangria one. And so my friend sent me one from all the way from Colorado. Here, it's still in the bag and everything. It's heavy. Is that all that's in there? So I got the big sangria cup. <laughs> and she also put something extra in here. What is this one? Oh my gosh. This is too cute, but it has names on it. It has my son, Tamaya, and Nikki right here. Oh my gosh. That's too cute. So here's a close up of the case. I got finesse, y'all. I'm gonna find the Instagram ad. I got finesse like a mug. I know y'all, yeah, I'm gonna get a purple phone. This don't even look right. Me pulling out this green phone. Okay, per my birthday haul, I was saying that this is not purple, but everybody say it is. Um, and if you put it up against this cup right here, so I'm, this purple top on here irritates my soul. Let me just do it like this. No, wait, what did I just do? Let's just do this. Hurry up for the battery guy. Let's just do that. And I'm gonna sit this one up here. Yeah, and then, and then. Oh gosh, thank you so much, Polish Choice. You guys know we love us some Polish Choice, especially like the daily exfoliant that come in the gray. Baby, baby, we got the Ultra Gentle Cleanser, the Sensitive Skin Exfoliant, the Repairing Serum, and the Rescue and Repair Intense Moisturizer. Thank you so much, Polish Choice. I will link it below. So I'm in my skincare fridge. Hold on. Oh, I got this in here. I'm like, where is my... I need to clean it out, y'all. Sorry, it's a little dirty. Where is my, hold on, be right back. Baby, I'm looking for my gray bottle. But you know, when you got a daughter and stuff go viral on TikTok, the gray bottle always go viral on TikTok. I'm going to smack the dog out of her when I see her. I'm not for real, but. Proofing my birthday haul. Depending on the views of my legs, vlogs, it might go up tomorrow. I'm at Sonic. I already using my gift card. It's rainy, it's cold, so I just ran to give me something to eat real quick while I work. I'm going to have a perfume and a hair sale this weekend. Wish me luck because, woo, both of them are hectic. I don't think I'm wearing this over and over and over. Oh, I kind of am, though. I really have been lounging around in my moo moo. And when it's time to hop on camera, go check the mail, run, give me something to eat, I throw this back on. But I ain't been going nowhere. I got another Shein Times. I'm eating one of my cookies, y'all. Mm, look at that. Cranberry white chocolate. Oatmeal. Let's just go and try these on. All right. This is the Shein Times. So. They collaborate with stylists, influencers. I'm going to show you guys some pieces, okay? Let's go. Code Platinum 15. Anytime you're on the Shein website, even if it's for stuff like these nails, okay? All right, guys. I usually like to do this like somewhere else in the living room with good light, but I don't want my dad just be making a lot of noise, y'all. So what I've learned about the Shein times is the clothes on the regular line you have a better selection than the Shein times curve or plus 
So anyway, let me just show you guys two little simple pieces. I did get a sweatshirt. It's finally cold in Texas. Um, this say never give up. No, that is not what this say. Everything will be okay. Where did I get? <laughs> Everything will be okay, guys. I can't step back any further because I don't have any bottoms on. It's just a simple shirt. I could see me wearing this like Christmas with some black leather jeggings or something and some thigh boots. You know, just something simple to throw on. I don't typically typically get winter stuff because like I said, I am in Texas and it don't really get cold like that here. February-ish, it do a little bit, but yeah. So I got another top I can show you guys real quick. All right, so here's where things get tricky. I got this cute green satin top. I'll insert a picture because I have to stay sideways because I can't button it. My breasts are just too big. <laughs> they are, and there's no stretch in it. So I will insert a picture. I really, really love this top. <laughs> no bottoms on, y'all. So I'm really, really sad that I can't button it. Like, I can't at all. Like, oh my gosh. Next collar. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. But this dress right here is too cute, honey. So it's like formal. Let me fix it. Because how is this supposed to be? Hold up. All right, so I pulled it up, and I very much do have it on, right? Okay. I'm stepping on. So this is like a formal dress. All of this is out on the website. Like, I don't know how this is crossing on her. Like, how is her breast not out? So it's like this on the website, and the whole back is out, guys. So, like, I would have to put on, like, something like I got on now if I wanted to wear this. <laughs> Why did I even get this in the whole back out? Mm-mm. Here we go right here. Oop, see? She has zero breast. Pay attention to this kind of stuff when you're on websites because there's absolutely, not even with tape, I can wear that. Mm-mm. And this the back. True color. Fix that in her ear mind. I think I kind of flopped this shit in, huh? I ain't gonna say flopped, but yeah. This is sparkly and it's just a pen suit. It's cute though. Of course I like it because it's purple. Yeah, I see how the universe works because last week I was running around everywhere looking for something. Animal print and sequin or sparkle. Yeah. This is, what print is this? I love this dress. I wish it came in like the traditional brown gold because it's to the floor all right y'all we got our all black rib number look how slim and bad black is this made me look like it nothing exists right here let me bag back the light it's too cute it's like let's do that it's long it's not even taking it to the floor like the good knees channels take it to the floor it's long honey but it has like a little flare out at the bottom it don't just go straight down this is too cute to me yeah this right here is so fly to me it's meant to be more open so you're supposed to put a cami a bodysuit or something under here it is a two-piece it's like a velvet material it's pants i remember i tried on another two-piece from shein before and i thought it was too small because i couldn't button it and it was meant to be worn open see that's why i gotta reference them pictures all right, so boom, we got this beautiful gray pantsuit, but I have absolutely no one here to help me zip it. I mean, no one. Sugar's not here, the collar's not here, and it zips on the side. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be, but it's not zipped, okay? It can zip very much so. It just, I don't have anybody here to do it. So that was kind of a... All right, guys, so I will make sure I link everything below. I made sure I put the side by side since I couldn't give y'all the full feel of a lot of the stuff today. But I loved that real black dress, that tiger print pantsuit, that green leopard love, and the sparkly um outfit. And when I get some the right heel, the metallic bag I got for my birthday, oh yeah, it's popping. So I will leave the links to everything I show below along with my discount code, Shop Shein. Because uh, seafood Friday, got little crab legs, little sh Ooh. 
They didn't give me no shrimp. Oh, there it is. Corn potatoes. Sausage. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all, we got to head out. It's Teresa's house warming. I don't know. I seriously doubt I'll take the camera in there because this is somebody's house. Actually, I won't take the camera in there. I asked her if I get, I get some footage from my phone. We'll see. And then we're going to try to dip out early because it's the playoffs. Little Damari, we got to go support our baby. That's our baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's go. Oh. I have on the necklace I got from Marshall. It's like the Van Cleef necklace. Girl, I want to go back and get some more. Look at this thing. I'm going to just go down with it because it's going. It's going. It's going. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> this Shein. Brought to you by Shein, of course. The auntie sweater. Ain't nobody auntie but y'all. And then, oh, I do have a net for you. I'm tripping. <laughs> and then I got some liquid leggings on and some sparkle Ugg boots. Let's see if I can get up there. <laughs> that bay got me last Christmas. This past, this past Christmas. Let's go. Demire ain't feeling good today, y'all. But he gonna see me. Everybody named Mama was saying he showed out because I was there last week, huh? So that's why I'm gonna try to leave to reach the house one more early. Housewarming early because I need my baby to show out. And he not feeling good. He's having stomach issues. We gonna get through it though. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so y'all see I switched glasses. I can't even link these because these are a little old, and I don't know where they came from. I kind of got to figure where they came from, but we ain't mentioning that company. So um, that's all I want to tell y'all because I know y'all going to ask me what glasses I got on, and I wouldn't know. I probably would. I'll try my hardest to find them for y'all on another site. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. So what do tires this big go on? I say, God damn! I know them hoes heavy. This is Dallas every day now. I hate it. I hate it. We never had traffic on 20, did we? Everybody want to move here because we got all this cheap ass land and property, and now our stuff going up. It's just ridiculous, bro. It makes me want to move somewhere else. Cause why? Why? But yeah, with them tires going. On. Oh, look, like, guys, my personalized yeah, cup. This is what you want to do. Yeah. I was like, this is a little cool. Too cute, huh? Yeah. It, I don't know. Oh, it got something on it, I think. And that's the glass cover, guys. You can tell I'm not a drinker. Yeah, because you wear that. I do. Okay. I do. As a dance group here, what was the colors, y'all? Red is passion. Red is the fruit pass. Passion. My booyah. Hey. I don't hey, clap, Brad. Oh, y'all be asking how Nicole locked getting so long. Tell them, Nicole. From the drops. The drop. Link below. <laughs> you kicked it. You kicked it. You kicked it. No, you kicked it. Nikki D's. Y'all see it? You don't have to stop. Yeah, Teresa too sweet, ain't she? Yeah. That ended up being like an appreciation to us. It ain't y'all business, why? But it, it was more like a... What's going on with, with the light? It ended up being more like a I love y'all, I appreciate y'all for being here for me type thing. And tell them what I did before. Cry. The whole speech, Dylan. <laughs> before she even started. And when she ended, I was still crying. <laughs> I love her, y'all. She's the sweetest person ever. Literally. So, yeah, let's try to make it to the game. Hopefully, we ain't missed it. It's 3.45. The game started at 3, and we got a wood drive. Four <sighs> let's hope they didn't start on time. Y'all had to come back. Let me tell y'all why. Ooh, this is a blur. I had to come back, baby, baby. I don't know who made this. I'm so damn ghetto, huh? <laughs> That's why they love me, though. Boy, this is a peach tea. Nicole don't even drink tea and it's good, huh? Yeah. I'm a slow sippy. It, it's, it kind of feel like it needs to be some vodka or something in here. It's, like, oh. it's too good. Delicious. Y'all, we went to the wrong freaking field. We made it seven minutes to go, fourth quarter. I'm not gonna pay. That seemed real cheap, but I can watch it from right here. It is freaking freezing out here, y'all. 
I don't even, oh, there, I see him. It's a wrap, y'all. Hey, that's, that must be their nice song. They play it after every game. <laughs> Money back. Look at the coaches. Yeah, right to it, I don't see her. It'll let me zoom in some more. Oh shit, I gotta be still though. Yeah, it's freezing out here. We not used to this weather. So, some of you guys that I really, really love was like, Nikki, 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 give them another chance. <laughs> Actually, this is my fourth chance. I'm back at the Turkey Leg Mac. Y'all was like, give them another chance, give them another chance. If they are good, they are good. We just tried to give them another chance and they're out of Turkey Legs. So it makes me feel bad because it's a black owned business and I want them to do really, really good. And I know my influence has a big name to it, but it's not my fault. Every time I come, something is wrong. So yeah, we're at Caesar's Snack Shack. TikTok made us do it, huh? <laughs> and then I'm just like, do I even want this this late? This is something I need to eat at like one o'clock during the day. Cause it got like the flaming hot nachos and that kind of stuff. Um, so I think I'ma just do a potato with chicken fajita. Yeah. So yeah, they got tacos, Philly's cheese, Philly cheese steaks, burgers, cheese fries, hot dogs. This shit is, what did I see hot dogs at over there? Nachos, elote, fried Oreos, French toast. <laughs> oh, I got the menu in here. That's what it looked like, y'all. So if you want all of that, like Philly, I mean, hot fries. I'm tired. Flaming hot nachos and all that kind of stuff. This where you come, honey. Flaming hot, I got shit the flaming hot mozzarella sticks. If she even, she went to see Wakanda. Yeah, we went to the wrong field. When I fought, I'm going to say who fought it was. When I fought, we was at the wrong field and still made it to the fourth quarter, huh? Yeah. They won, so to the bowl, yeah. To the bowl. We got to go to the uh, play, not the playoffs, that was the playoffs we was in. What they call championship mm -hmm. game? Mm -hmm. We need to get us some shirts and stuff, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I'll show y'all our food when we get home. Maybe. Nah, I'll show y'all. What you get, Philly cheese steak? Every time we go somewhere different, this child get a Philly cheese steak. We went to the turkey down. We go there for that turkey stuff, turkey leg, what you get. Okay. Girl, I can barely hold my camera. Y'all see me doing this? I gotta go. This the, um, what is it? Hot Cheeto mozzarella sticks. Should finna go. Let me try one. Let me try one before she leave. Here, Nicole, hey. Just a little, just a little bit. Oh, How are you? That looks kind of funny. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have tried it with the wrench. All right, she took me off that quick because I don't like for people to have. You knew they were coming at seven. Don't have nobody out here waiting on you. So look at my glass. I was trying to show y'all while I was at the housewoman. She customized everybody a glass. Teresa's so sweet. She gave us all a gift bag. And it has a journal in here. Strength and dignity. Y'all not love me a journal. I take my notes, write my YouTube jobs and everything in planners. The characteristics of a daughter of God. This bag is in here. Oh, look at the cute women on the back. I got some mini chair. A lot of stuff. Ooh. This bread good, y'all. Pre-filled makeup remover. It's a um, perfume sample in here. Urban. Ooh, ooh, I've never tried this. I hope I don't like it because I don't need to buy nothing. 
and a Fenty Beauty. Ah! Y'all have been talking about this god dang heat um, gloss bomb. Everybody. And look. Oh, this is the red one. I think it's the chocolate one. This hot cherry. But I saw a girl was like, everybody like the chocolate one or whatever that one's called. Hot cherry go hard too. So thank you so much for that. Ooh, got me some nuts and crackers, y'all. Put that right in my purse. I always need stuff like that in my purse. Peace on earth. Some ornament. This is the wine cover. Like when you're drinking your wine. I mean, class cover. You cover your wine like that. Here's a, a coaster. Say blessed. And yeah, thank you so much, Teresa. We got some snacks. We got these from the football game, y'all. While we taking these snacks from the kids, any of this. And let me show y'all my food real quick. Sure, don't piss me off that quick. Her attitude is real bad now, y'all. I do want to. Boy, I ain't playing. She be, she often forget who she's dealing with. And she gonna catch me on the wrong day one day. And all this built up frustration I got in me, she gonna catch it. Believe that. Okay. What was I about to show y'all? Because I just went there real quick. You pissing me the fuck off. That teenage attitude. She don't know she missed me, y'all. Ooh. 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 All right. Mmm. Let's get good. Mmm. What's that on them fries? And this my potato. What? Mmm. 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 Baby, yes. Yeah, I look. That gloss bomb so good. I went on Sephora and ordered more colors. It's thick, but not sticky. Look at that. Look like I just ate a popsicle, girl. All right, guys. This is what I'm working on now. Putting merch um, under my YouTube videos. And, of course, it's lit auntie merch. So, yeah. Love it, love it, love it. I got into it with my graphic designer, y'all, real bad. Because, let me show y'all how he did me. So, he ran a special. And it was like a birthday special for his daughter. So, all his logos was 25. So, I was like, okay, now's the time for me to get my little auntie logo. Look what he made, y'all. So, I told him I wanted a glamorous girl. With lit auntie on it. All the requirements is that the silhouette is glamorous. And it's purple. And so I told him I did not like this. Ain't nothing lit about this auntie y'all. It looked like a nun. Got on a church dress with some Ugg boots. And then I said the L right here looks like a lowercase g. You can't even tell they say lit. So he gonna try to tell me I need to pay him $25 for revisions. Because I should have been more detailed. And that's when I lost it. Because... Even my daddy, who's pushing 80, can see this not a glamorous lady. And all you had to do was change the way this L look. And I've spent years referring him. And using him. And you going to try to tell me $25 for a revision? And tell me I should have been more detailed? Okay, even if I wasn't detailed, this is not a glamorous lady, bro. So I just said, you know what, don't even worry about it. Because he was like, he can change the font. I said, I st I'm still not going to like it because look at that lady. There ain't nothing glamorous about Bro, I'm getting mad talking about it because I really do be like looking out for people for years and years. This is the same person that I used to do the, I used to wear the I'm your plug shirt from for years. And people just be doing me any kind of way. So I blocked them everywhere, phone, Facebook, Instagram, because I don't care. Like, I hate horrible ass customer service, and I understand it was a special. I understand it was a special, and he said it was a special, and I should have been more detailed uh, because it specifically said re, re edits or $25. But my thing is, you didn't even do what I asked you to do. And you used to work at a strip club, bro, for years. You've been a 14. I'm finna go off now, see. Been a promoter since you was 14. You know, good and goddamn well, that ain't no glamorous woman. 
Okay, I just had to tell that story because it pissed me off and I blocked them. I don't care, friend or not, like, stop playing with me. So I ended up just making my own, which I should have did from the beginning. It pushed me to just go and get out my shit and make my own. Look at the difference. Okay, yeah. Excuse me, it's, it's Sunday, y'all. And I even thought, like, maybe I'm tripping. Sent it to the whole team. Everybody was like, there's nothing glamorous about that lady. They're like a nun. Look at that church dress. Look at them ugly boots. And they made it a laughing stock. And it kind of like irritated me because I was already irritated. Like, and so that was my point. I said, even the whole team said, even all my plat breasts right now in the comments finna say that ain't no glamorous woman. To my, I don't know your definition of glamorous. Merch will be linked under my videos from here on out, y'all. The point of me telling y'all all that. All right, y'all, we're headed to see what kind of this is following. Y'all know how it, it's going to stop in a minute. Just let it do its thing. So, I have a uh, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle hair mist. Oof. And I'm going to wear the Coco Mademoiselle. This is the Loué version. Um, this is just simply the night version. Like, if the regular one is too heavy um for you this is the one like you would wear to bed after the shower i'm just going to the movie so that's why i'm putting on the light version it's still gonna hit but y'all know i got all versions because i love it this the only chanel well this the best one to me i'll just say that so guys this is the regular one like the regular and then i got the intense but i got a small bottle of it this is the intense like Heavy duty nighttime. This is my favorite Chanel scent, Mademoiselle. Yeah, I love this shit. Look, half Jacob, but baby, it is not gonna keep me warm tonight. But y'all not be having high flashes, so let's just see how it go. Let me hear you put my camera up for they think I'm trying to bootleg the movie. <laughs> baby, no. Ooh. Be like, man, put your camera up, ma'am. I'm just trying to fly. <laughs> but it's been so long since we came here. Right before the pandemic, what I said, they need to do what? Upgraded. It was so raggedy in here. They seats will be peeling and everything. They didn't took the counter. All right, y'all, bye. Yeah, I love these sparkle herb boots. They don't even focus. I got them in so many colors, y'all. Y'all know that. High quality fashion boutique. On the body. She in. Blending in with the seats. <laughs> y'all, chicken wings and nachos was $50. Right. Baby. And the tickets was $30. $80 for come to the movies. And I my Open the gates! There's beans on there. Then I had a meal to be stingy. I'm an American scientist. Vibranium only exists here. In Wakanda. Mother, he's. So, yeah. We're trying to. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We're trying to figure out if we like to put the first or the this point builder but ooh, youtube ooh, God, 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 damn. we also said we should have watched the first part again right before yeah. we came to see this yeah. like a little refresher course but see i done broke it down because the black man <laughs> don't say it boo -boo. don't tell him my theory <laughs> the message it was a message behind it Dang, blowing big, big. <laughs> smelling mighty fine. It was a message behind it, but I ain't gonna get into it on YouTube. Okay, they hating on me because I'm a deep thinker. In other news, I got my money back for my food. <laughs> my wings was salty as hell, y'all saw. I sent them mugs back, got some chicken strips, and it was all bread and dough of some wasn't it. Horrible. Really horrible. And I asked, <clears throat> sorry y'all, asked for barbecue sauce. It was literally like, how many minutes later? About 10? 20 minutes. 20, and I still, so by the time I get my sauce, my strips gonna be, I said, just take this out too. So we both picked that in the cold nachos. You hungry? Well, you ate, huh? All right, what you want though? We'll see. <laughs> Pizza. 
Turn this shit on. <laughs> and close your mouth. Turn the Put heat up. Turn the heat up. I ain't doing that to you. Turn Put the your heat seatbelt up. on. Right. Yeah, why well, I got this cup from Star uh, Poshmark because the seller had it listed for $8 and I had a $10 credit. But I think I got this cup. If I do, I'll display this one and I'll actually use my other one because this one is used. Well, I think it is. No, it's not used. Well, I use actually use one and just keep the other one on display. So let's go see. So guys, I have rearranged them. So I got to find a cup that I think this is like. Uh, I don't. Oh, I do have this one. Oh, no, I don't. I don't have Lens Smart to show you guys this week, but I got some on the way. I got some on the way. Um, yeah. So, okay, we got to move all of this. Jeez, Nikki. Sorry, you guys. I'm just putting them down here. So, I don't have this one. I don't think. Unless. No, I don't. Yay! Get that ashy foot out the way. Just in case you didn't know, I collect only the purple Starbucks cups. Some of them are pink because they were gifted. And it like just fits in. I do have, I only have three cups that aren't purple, guys. Um, Yeah, so I love it. All right, y'all know which one I'm looking for. The um, hollow one. What they call it? Unicorn one like this. They have this one. I'm not sure I want to get this one though. It's the last one, so if I want it, see? So, yeah. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Period. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, the Lord don't play about me. Y'all know for years, I've been having this thing where like when something is a collectible, I could just go straight in and get it or I always get it. Even when makeup collections and stuff was popping, remember? It, is this my car? Oh, I don't even know my license plate number. Yeah, it has literally been this way for years. And I wasn't gonna go place to place looking for it. It ain't that serious because it ain't purple. But any cup that has a hint of purple, it can be like an iridescent shield for anything I want it. And this one is too cute, y'all. Look at this. Ooh. <laughs> and I got twenty dollars off of my point, so I just ended up paying four dollars for it. So I'm just go ahead and check my PO box. Yeah, I had to take them black and white nails off. She ain't kind of played me with them. I need to start paying attention to the brands. They were too thin. Before I put these on, let me make sure they're not too thin. And um, like when I would go to pick up stuff, they would like bend over. I mean, like, I can't explain it, so I had to take them off. It was aggravating me. So, let me try this pair. Before I even, before I even put this pair on and stretch myself out, let's just see what they're about. Well, I thought the other ones were thick. Because I ain't finna go through that again. Okay, these are way better. So, I'm gonna just put these on, because I don't know what that was. I just had on. I mean, they, they were good for like a one good one or two days, but no. All right, y'all, so this is what we have. I need to give me something for my cuticles. Cuticles. These are cute, though. Yeah, tell me why she just did my hair. Now she cooking. Daughter of the year. Get your daughter like mine. I don't play about mine. And don't. <laughs> you see her, you see me, you see me, you see her. Her hair done, my hair gonna be done. Her toes done, my toes gonna be done. My, I'm dressed cute, she gonna be cute. She ain't gonna be looking dusty and I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking done up. So, okay, anyway. She just did my hair, y'all. And I, I be forgetting I'm vlogging. And I done tied it up, but I don't wanna untie it. So, stop playing with me. This my wig from Ghetto Bites. Y'all will see it tomorrow. Stop playing my seed, I mean. Oof. Girl. Stop. 
Girl, stop playing me in my seat, bro. Okay. Big senior 2023 Jordan year. Okay, but um, yeah, y'all see tomorrow. I'll try to go somewhere. If I'm feeling bad, I ain't been feeling good today, y'all, if I could be honest. My energy just, oh no, maybe I ate too much junk this weekend. All right, bye y'all. All right, y'all, got some from Amazon. I've been needing one of these for so long because who don't earn is me. And I'm always about to go somewhere. So I got me a quick steamer and of course I got purple. I got an Amazon video coming up you guys probably will love. I hope you will love. Because I put a lot of time and effort into my videos. I'm going to barely get you watch. Because I ain't in the, because I'm shadow band. But it's cool. Y'all still love me. Y'all still here if you're seeing this right. Yeah. Give me another steamer. I had one a company sent me from Amazon. Lift it to my best friend. I ain't never got it yet. They probably ain't even using it. So I can almost guarantee you they not. So I'm just putting stuff on her. Yeah. Oh, that's how it goes. <laughs> and when I'm about to go, I could just be like, steam them wrinkles out them clothes. Okay. I will link it below, of course. I will link my whole Amazon store below. It's all of my favorites. I'm ready to eat. Should make it some broccoli and rice. Beef, beef broccoli. I'm gonna eat it. And I forgot to mention it's the compact travel one in case you want to take it with you. It won't take up too much room in your suitcase. Ladies and gentlemen, see, that's gonna bother me. So, sorry guys, I still have to. Uh, all right guys so i still have this line from where i had it tied down but i'm gonna just like wear it like back like this shook styled it where it's more like <sighs> don't do that <laughs> see if it'll stay up so i while i finish talking y'all i guess it's cute like that too huh? <clears throat> this is the wig that's from ghetto bikes love it Love it, love it, love it. It's just, it's more of a summer wig, but child, I could do what I want. Big plaid. Okay, so I got on my Valentino earrings. This sweater that I showed you guys earlier from Shein. Everything will be okay, and I really need to hear that because I'm in a mood, y'all. Okay, so I've been researching the little girl who friends that I like that in Mexico, and it's very triggering because if you know me, you know why it's triggering, so... I just need to stay off the internet, so I'm gonna get out and go to the outlet real quick. I'm gonna let's do a challenge. I'm not gonna spend over fifty dollars, okay? I want to take those Fini glasses back. They're a little fragile to me. Um, I just feel like I'll break them. So let's try my new stuff that I got for my birthday. This is Mason Francis Kirk Dijon, Aqua Universalis. This is the same person who makes Baccarat. Um, this is the hair mist. Y'all got this short pain that just keep shooting through my vagina. Mental piles to have you do the weirdest stuff. So that's the hair mist. And for the fragrance, I'm gonna use Billie Eilish. Love this. It's like a grown and sexy daytime pink sugar. I'm not gonna put on a necklace and all that, just my traditional Apple Watch with the good it's a Gucci bag. <clears throat> and I'll link these faces. I get them from Amazon. Um, y'all. Um, I have on some liquid leggings so we can drop them. I do have on some liquid leggings. They came from Adore Me and some gold Ugg boots. I saw a meme that say, before y'all pull them Ugg boots out, make sure they got an alignment. And I just bust out laughing because y'all know I got some black ones that's lean with it, rocking with it. And I ain't ate and just sprayed myself. They use. I ain't embarrassed to see it. And I didn't throw them away when I got a new black pair for Christmas last year. I, um, I just were the old ones like when i go to work at the warehouse and stuff and then my new ones like i were like when i went saturday to the what i thought was a housewoman i don't even know how i thought that was a housewoman because it didn't say that nowhere on the flyer i think i was listening to my cousin and she said it was one um yeah i wore my new ones there so yeah, I got my little birthday haul stuff on. I am going to put on this jacket because it's a little cold in a D. I am going to put on this jacket from Jelly Sheet. <clears throat> it's 
not anything thick and major. It's just a, uh, me and Shug got this jacket. We need to do an outfit alike. Yeah, I gotta answer some comments under my last vlog. I skipped over those comments and answered my birthday haul stuff. But I really need to answer those so I don't get behind. Oh, and for my birthday haul, a lot of you guys have been writing me because in my birthday haul, I was saying how some of you guys write me every day and it kind of lowered my vibration. Um, a lot of you guys have been writing me apologizing. You don't have to apologize, guys. It's not Y'all are not bothering me. I was just explaining why sometimes that's hard for me and sometimes I don't like answer all the time or answer like indulging. What's the word I'm looking for? Answer like... um like a therapist or like I'm helping you because sometimes I don't even know what to say. I be feeling the same way. Oh, that smell good. Let me spray my jacket too. Let me calm down because I just got a one ounce. Y'all ready? Let's go. I might end the vlog after this because we've been enough places, right? All right, guys, while we're headed here, I do want to update you guys briefly on my situation at home. If you guys watched my last vlog, you will know that I sold my truck. Um, I, it never was my intention to have multiple cars to drive around. I just, um, after I got this car, child. So I end up selling the truck because I didn't need two vehicles, which I, I kind of regret it because that was my baby and um, that is how I transported my stuff from the warehouse, but it wasn't worth it in the end to have two vehicles. Um, you also, if you watch me, you would know that my dad um, lives with me and he had low-key turned it into his truck, which I had no problem with, but I did because I did. I, this, I don't have to share like all of my business on here. So, I told you guys that I was nervous about selling my truck because I knew that my dad would give me a hard time. My dad has this thing where like, I am literally the only person that's 10 toes down for my dad. My dad has been living with me my whole marriage, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Some more business I don't have to put y'all in. But everything always backfired on me. And so it's getting to the point to where I'm trying to make the best decisions for me in life right now because when you are the soft-hearted person, people will sit around and 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 take, 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 take until you stressed out, paraphiling out, don't want to live anymore. And then it's like what pisses me off the most is when you get to the point to where you feel like everybody is using you or taking advantage of you. I won't say using. Everybody is taking advantage of you and you put a stop to it. Then you're still the damn, you're still the problem. Now it's just a different problem. How can she do me like that? How can she, how can she would do? Okay, so I said all that to say that I knew it was going to be a problem. We're going to start with, he was, he's, and now he's trying to rent cars, which is absolutely insane to me because car rentals are like 300 and some dollars a week now. When all you had to do was help me out, get an oil change on the truck, fill the truck up, clean the truck out pay the truck insurance but you'd rather give somebody else money to rent a car 300 a week to rent a car when all you had to do was help me out like my truck used to be filthy my brother came from london and we got it clean i ain't seen that truck that clean since i got it okay secondly is i got doctor's appointments i got this well you know i'm gonna get you to your doctor's appointment and second of all you're a whole veteran you could arrange for people to come pick you up, but my daddy think he's too good for that kind of stuff. He be like, they be making all them stops and people be stinking on them vans. That's him, right? Okay, I digress again. So what really triggered me yesterday, and when stuff triggers me like that, it really bothers me internally and start making me not feel good. I start having tension migraines. I start, my, my vibrations were so low because it's like, I'm trying not to cry. It's like I really do a lot for a lot of people, man. And I don't even be asking for that stuff in return. But what you're not going to do is make me feel like the bad guy for doing what's right for me. So yesterday, he, my dad never feels well. So he literally runs up to the veteran hospital all the time. Which I understand because I too never ever feel well. 
I, I don't. Like, I feel, some days I feel better than others, but I still, since 2019, 2020, ain't felt like myself, honestly. So, he was like, I, I think I know why I ain't been feeling good these last couple of days. And I was like, why? And he was like, because I ain't had nothing to snack on. Usually, I could go to the store, get snacks and all this kind of stuff. And I said, wait a minute. First of all, the stuff you snack on, you ain't supposed to be eating no way. Cakes, cookie pies, you're diabetic. And second of all, there is a kitchen full of stuff in there. Like, literally, stuff is all on our cabinet because we don't have room in the pantry. So you're not finna guilt trip me like this, sir. It's like stuff like this is what I eat for snacks. My daddy will turn his nose up at this. Just like if we cook broccoli, baked chicken, and potatoes, he'll turn his nose up. He won't hog mouths, oxtails, all that kind of shit. We don't do that. I sure don't do that no more. My health comes first. Like, I'll go out and eat like unhealthy out to eat or something but honestly i don't even eat like i show y'all the plate take two three bites and take that shit on the shoe <clears throat> i think it's only been like one two times i've really ate my food and then when i go out i try to eat healthy still so my point of me saying all that was now i'm in a whole nother headspace because i got rid of the truck and stuff to have a little bit more financial freedom and it ain't even a lot of financial freedom. It, it gave me a big lump sum to put in my savings account. And now you're guilt tripping me. Every day it's a problem because the truck is no longer here. Well, sir, that never was your truck. Sir, you have perfect credit, a lot of credit cards. You get a check. Go get your own vehicle. You get what I'm saying? Or you should have just took care of mine. And I know I got family and stuff that watch me. So I, I don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody go, ain't nobody ever approach me. Y'all will whisper that shit subliminal. My daddy will say y'all said some shit, but ain't nobody came to me because if y'all want to come to me, <clears throat> boy, I ain't going to say what I want to say on here, but trust me, you take it up for him and you don't know what he's saying about you. So anyway, I just want, the whole point of this, because I've been talking six minutes, is y'all, when you got a soft heart, you got to you gotta guard that shit. People will really make you feel bad for doing what is best for you. Like, that shit is so unfair to me, but I'm off there, y'all. I done talked six minutes. Y'all get the message and what I'm trying to say. I just really hate that I'm always in these situations where I work so hard. I work so hard to keep my marriage going. I work so hard to keep my house functioning. I work so hard to make sure that my daughter gets everything she need and want. And it always backfire on me in like the craziest way. Like, yeah, when they say my money, my problems, I ain't lying. I, I put this on everything I love. Lord, hear me out good and clear. I do not want to be broke again. I don't ever want to see broke again. But I honestly feel like when I didn't have money, I was happier. Because when you have money, there's expectations. Every time something go wrong, I gotta buy it or we won't have it. Like, it's, anytime something happened in the family, everybody look to you because they know you got the money. But it's as simple as saying no. Yes, I have it, but I don't have it. First stop, Bloomingdale's, of course. Oh, I need to put some hand cream on. I would not be this ashy. Same ones I saw yesterday. Going to get my free birthday gift. Oh gosh, guys. Look what they got today. The purple bag I want. And I'm going to get it. Five stores they quick. I really got discipline today, guys, because I'm trying to see if I can do this on a budget. I'm gonna run and see if they got Nicole favorite chocolate. All right, guys. Well, they didn't make it and they're gone. Back in a car, I'll show y'all what I got when I get home because this camera just doing what it want to do. It's finna die. Okay, let's just talk about it. I'm so excited. So this is the glasses. They're like the, the Christian Dior glasses. 
that I felt like those Fendi glasses was just too much like, and what we ain't doing no more is buying a whole bunch of the same stuff over and over like I used to do. Okay, unless it's perfume or makeup, I can buy some lookalikes because it's going to get used. So, let's talk about what I did get. I got some Versace glasses. Oh, sorry, y'all. And look at, th I'm glad. <laughs> baby, baby, look at these. They are so cute. I ain't never seen a black Medusa head like that. Baby, stop playing with me. I don't have nothing like these. And do now. <laughs> so, these came out. Hold up, because I can't see. These came out to only 169 bucks, guys. And those Fendi glasses were 199 So I had a $30 credit, right? Right? Okay, so my pink sugar. Woo. If y'all already saw the reel, y'all already know the deal. Oh, I should have been a rapper. <laughs> my pink sugar. Out of there. Oh, don't play. I got another one. This almost out of her <laughs> so you guys thought the last time when i got the fendi shades i got creamy sunshine it was in my birthday haul um and then so today i got red velvet so the only one i don't have is the blue one and they had the blue one check this out this rung up for 19 dollars, guys it did so i still had 20 more dollars to spend so i got two of the regular pink sugar roller balls for me and sugar purse or Christmas stocking stuffers. So that's blue. What the heck did I just say? Christmas stocking stuffers. So that's Bloomingdale's, guys. So Starbucks. I got this tumbler. It's like this. That's so cute to me. Oh my gosh. I might actually drink out of this one. Like this might be my take with me cup because a lot of them, they, <laughs> I ain't drinking out of them. Dang. It still smells like Starbucks. Y'all. Y'all, y'all, let me tell you something. I saved a lot in here because the minis were $2.99 today. Then I had a 25% off coupon making them $2.50-ish. Then I had a free gift, so I got all these for $9. $9.99, 12 The receipt right here, girl. Nine oh five, $9.58. So I got a miniature copy. Christmas coming, y'all. These are all like good stuff stocking stuffers or like a lot of times i go with my family and it's always somebody i forgot about or you know somebody kid or something you put like this little stuff in they little girls bag baby they be too happy that's poppy this strawberry pound cake right these are all for my purse of course i should honestly what the heck going on honestly i should have just got all stress reliever stuff but i did not see it till i got to the register and everything was wrong up and i actually was like can you switch out can you switch out um here is the aromatherapy the hand cream and i got another hand cream in midnight amber Skin is skinny right now. Okay, so yeah, CCS, this is where I scored, baby. I go straight to the $5, so let me tell you, let me show you what I got. Clearly, I'm into red lips right now. That's all I got on, honey. So I got this Too Faced Melted Matte, and this is the color Lady Balls. Boy, they only had two. I should have just got both of them. I've already done a real two, so I know somebody done ran a butt up there and got the other one. Oh, it's like the perfect why didn't i get both of these dang on things <sighs> tripping then i got a bobby brown foundation it might be a little too dark it's the color well do the color matter walnut yeah because y'all might want to go get it here it's the color walnut it's the stick kind this is a score for five dollars i let five dollar wild stuff is some of it's not because it's like sample stuff. So that might look a little too dark for me. Actually, it don't. Because when I put my lighter concealer, it evens all out and photographs great. I like my foundation just a tack, just a t -t 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 teeny bit. Teeny, teeny, teeny. I can't even get it out. Teeny darker than me. Because when I put my concealer and stuff on, I want it to even all out without a flash. So they had the even better Clinique concealer. Oh, girl, I got two shades. I got maple. Look at me buying makeup, but it was $5. It like like y'all, on the real, if I don't use nothing else, I'm going to use some concealer. 
it'll be days I don't even, oh, I love that one. It'll be days I don't even have foundation on, but you best believe she gonna have on concealer. Like, I could do a full face with just concealer. This one right here is pecan, pecan. What y'all say, pecan or pecan? Pecan or pecan. So, that's the two shades right there. So one is, you know, to cover my imperfections at the bottom and the one above it is what I will use to highlight and brighten. So yeah, I know I look, this is my biggest score today. Then with some scores. I scored all the way around today, baby. I came up out of that mug spending $40. $40 for all of this Versace shit. Baby, okay, y'all better learn how to luxury bargain shop like your girl. Okay, so this is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Love this. Y'all see how low it is? I, I love this, boy. Love this. Baby, why they had the Soleil niche? Girl, tell me why it was $18 and they had an additional 10% off the whole store. So, yeah, that $5 stuff, it was really $4 and, what, what's that? $4.50 with my 10% off. Baby, I'm going to break a press on trying to get this out. And y'all, I get here and I got some, I got, oh, y'all can see it. Three packages from High Quality Fashion Boutique. I'm going to just go and try that stuff on in a minute. Boy, I just love to be talking. I'm in the vlog. I'm in the vlog. <laughs> You're right. Bro. I cannot believe I scored this for, what, $16.90? Try to do the math in my head. $18 for 10% off. Bro, bro, that boy, you sure can score at the CCS. Oh, now I got the gold and the silver shimmer in my receipt right here. Soleil shimmering platinum, $34, 1836, 40% off. They took $12.24 off, then they took another $13. Yeah. All right, guys. How quality fashion boutique? Sorry, I just did a lot that little time. I took a break. Coat, coat platinum fifteen will get you fifteen percent off the entire website. Y'all know I love her. She's very inexpensive. So these are called the chill set. They're just like the basic legging or the basic legging short sets I like, except the sleeves are long. So this is the teal. Let me let me just. So this is the teal right here in all of mine are in a medium. Y'all, I always have on the wrong bra to show y'all this stuff. It's more like a sports bra I have on, but I'm really supposed to be lifted like that. So this is dark rust. I always come in a little close so you guys can see the true color. It's no light over here, so let me scoot back. This is dark rust. This is dark burgundy. It's a very pretty colorful fall. Okay, you guys know recently I showed you guys, oh, uh-oh, uh -oh, is it focused? Some of these sets, and I was like, I'm just show you one because they all fit the same, but y'all like to see how the different colors look on my skin. So here's black. We got us some gray. Oh, I love gray. Gray is just so like, I don't know what it is about gray. Oh, I love the way this feels. It does not feel like a traditional t-shirt type feel. This feels so good. I was also sent some leopard printed cardigans that look like this. They're in a medium as well. And this is in the color cream. This I probably would have sized up in so it can like fit oversized. But this is the medium. I still can fit it though. So this is the one in the color cream. Then we have this one right here. And this one is in mocha. This is perfect for te Texas weather because it's cold right now. But we don't ever just get no, ooh, I'm so cold type weather. 
So this is cool to throw on during the day like what I did today. Here's a chill set of eggplant. I missed out on this one because it was box different. Look at this color. It's eggplant as well. This is the shacket set in eggplant. Now check this out. It's three pieces. You get a shirt, some leggings, and you get this jacket. You get your whole outfit. Girl, just throw some boots on a little crossbody. And you have to go. <laughs> Y'all, this is the chanerial or chanerial dress. I just knew this was going to be tight, especially because it's a medium. The, like I said, these really supposed to be like here. Okay, I do not have on shapewear. It's a little loose fitting. It's cute though. Same thing. Throw on with some little boots. <laughs> Bye, y'all.